no noise of any type whatsoever. I'm walking into Goshen, Indiana. It's interesting the arbitrary games the politicians play with the political delineations. Hey, this is Will Buchanan. I'm walking all the way across the country to New Hampshire in search of and to work toward more freedom on a project called the Walk for Liberty. Today is October 21st, 2008, day 168. Last night, I called into the internet and radio talk show, Free Talk Live. I had called in to talk about the scary encounter I had with the police a few days ago. And they ended up keeping me on for the entire first hour. Another listener even called in to talk to me. If you missed the show and would like to check out the interview, Head on over to freetalklive.com and download the archive of the show from the left side of the page. Also, I'll probably link to it in the show notes for this video. Another quick media update. I was interviewed today by the Goshen News, which is a daily paper here. So we'll be able to pick up a copy of the paper tomorrow, which is always nice to be able to do. Earlier today, I had stopped into a gas station intending to use the restroom. Turns out it was a brand new gas station and hadn't quite been finished, so the restroom wasn't opened yet. While I was in there, I noticed that the man who seemed to be the store owner looked like he was of Arab descent. He had several white guys working for him, loading the final supplies off of trucks onto the store shelves. I just thought that was a great tribute to how the free market is the ultimate peacemaker and brings people together. Even though at this point it's been several years since the incidents of September 11th, 2001, many Americans might still unfairly harbor racism toward the entire group of people of Arab descent. However, the freer the market is, I believe the more those differences and that racism gets minimized. As an example, let's say there's a white guy who owns a supply company for gas station convenience stores. Somebody calls him up saying he's opening a new gas station and that he's going to need a truckload of supplies. This is obviously going to be a very lucrative deal for the supply company owner. Then, somehow or another, he discovers that the gas station owner is an Arab guy, or a black guy, or an Irish guy, or somebody from whatever particular group he's bigoted toward. And at that point, he just lets the deal fall apart. Meanwhile, somebody else who's not a racist comes along and happily supplies the gas station owner with the products he needs. The first supply company owner's business, especially if he makes a habit out of that behavior, suffers. The second one's business prospers as he has many more opportunities than the first. The free market provides a wonderful medium of exchange for people to ignore each other's differences and get along civilly. This can work internationally as well. Thomas Jefferson said in his inaugural address, Peace, commerce, and honest friendship with all nations, entangling alliances with none. George Washington had also expressed similar sentiments 
during his farewell address. They both realized that the best route to peace and prosperity is to have free trade with as many nations as possible and that interfering with other countries' affairs often has the opposite effect, leading to war and economic trouble. Notice any parallels to today? It's time to go back to the free market routes this country was founded upon. The free market really is the great peacemaker and brings more prosperity to all. I walked 19.85 miles for liberty today. And here is my GPS position. If you do your shopping online, please consider going to amazon.walkforliberty.com and the Walk for Liberty will receive a percentage of your purchase. This is Will Buchanan, signing off.